I recently made a video in which I made the main six My Little Pony characters in The Sims 4. A lot of you really enjoyed that video, so I'm back with some not so main characters this time around, starting off with Princess Luna, Princess Celestia's little sister. Princess Luna was the main villain in season one for a few episodes, and her reasoning was basically she was jealous of her older sister, but she wasn't evil forever. She did turn back into normal. Princess Luna, when she's not Nightmare Moon, is very soft-spoken and gentle, and she feels very guilty about the whole Nightmare Moon fiasco. So for her traits, I'll give her Jealous and the Hot-Headed trait, but I'll give her the good traits since she's technically not an evil character anymore. For her Aspiration, I'll give her Leader of the Pack because she kind of did want to be the sole ruler of Equestria. Here is the Sim I've already kind of shaped to look like what I would expect her to look like, and I've gone with this very beautiful dark skin tone right here for her. She does have blue eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and give her some little dimples. I feel like I rarely do this to my sims, so it's a nice little detail. I want to give her some sort of freckles or moles, just giving her a darker upper lip and some mouth corners. There we go, and I just want to change up her face a little bit. For her body, let's give her like a little birthmark on her back, some moles on her chest, Oh, and her back as well. Let's give her moles everywhere. They kind of look like stars to me. I feel like this hair reminds me of Luna the most. She's got those big luscious waves. I will keep this one in the back of my mind though. For her top, I want to go for something dark but feminine and slightly regal like a corset. And actually, I kind of dislike that the hair is covering the corset so much. I wish we could see it more. So although I thought I would go with the other hair, I do want this one at least it shows the corset a lot more. We could also go for the long sleeve version. This is pretty cool. I love the shape up here. Let's give her some white nails. I'm a fan of these right here. They're really cute boots. I'm thinking of maybe changing the color of her clothing. I feel like I like this a little bit better. I was thinking of going for this color. It looks like the color of her hooves. And I'm actually going to change her boots to this dark blue color. Okay, that's actually looking a lot better for me. We we can give her some tattoos to add some more black on here. Oh, we do have these star tattoos. That's adorable on her back. We can give her one of these black bags. It even has a little star on it. So, I mean, I consider that Princess Luna themed. I want to give her something around her neck, like a little necklace or something or a choker. Wait, we have this choker right here and it has a little moon on it. I'm going to give her this sparkly dark blue eyeshadow and of course some liner and her head was looking a little bit empty so I did want to add some shades. I'm just gonna give her this black lipstick right here. I'm also gonna give her some highlighter. That is it for our Princess Luna. I actually really like how she turned out. I was scared that the choker wouldn't work with the outfit I chose but I really like it. Next up we're gonna be working on Derpy Hooves originally known as Ditsy Do. So this pony is so adorable. She's got these cross-eyed eyes and basically the fandom named her Derpy so the name was adopted by Hasbro which is pretty cool. Derpy is very dedicated to her job of delivering mail so I'm gonna give her the goofball trait and the cheerful trait as well as the ambitious trait. For the aspiration I'm not really sure because I'm not super familiar with this character and I'm not finding too much information on her but I'll give her friend of the world. So I do want to give her some exotropia so it kind of does resemble the character. I'm just going to give her these gray eyes so it goes with the rest of her colors. I'll just give her some random skin details here and there. That's pretty cute. Let's go ahead and give her a little bit of a different chin. I'm just going to make her eyes a tiny bit smaller and her face wider than it already is. Derpy has some pretty shaggy hair so I'm going to go with this one right here. I'm going to go with this body preset for her. I'm giving her leg hair as well and a little birthmark on her arm. I think this yellow sweater is so cute for her. 
her. It just really reminds me of her and I feel like she would wear a ton of big baggy clothing and look all cozy and kind of quirky. So I absolutely love this sweater with this skirt right here. But unfortunately, it clips a lot in the back and on the sides as well. So I was thinking of giving her these pants instead. I just love this. <sighs> Could we ignore the clip? I know this is going to be a very unpopular opinion, but I'm going with this. I love the skirt for her. I feel like she's so quirky and she would definitely wear this. For her shoes, I love these right here with the little flowers on them. You can just tell she has a bright personality with these on. Let's do her nails. We'll do them in this golden color. But I want to go with some gray eyeshadow. I think a bit of a different eyeliner would be nice this time. I do like the look of this. It goes with her ribbons on her sweater. I just added a little bit of blush and lip gloss. Last but not least, I want to add these adorable gray glasses right here. And that is it for Derpy Hoops. I think she came out adorable. I wish I could have added a hat, but the hair was clipping with the hat a little bit and we already have enough of that. But seriously, I love how she turned out. I would definitely wear this myself, honestly. It's so cute. Next, we're going to be working on DJ Pony. Three. She is a DJ and she obviously really likes music. She looks quite edgy too and different from the other ponies. I'll give her the dance machine trait and the music lover trait and we'll also give her the party animal trait. For her aspiration, I'm gonna go with the music one because that's the most similar thing we have to DJing. She's got a very interesting name. I've already kind of made her look like what I think she would look like as a human. Her eyes are purple. You can barely see them because she's always wearing these glasses. I just gave her some little eyelashes and I will be downturning her eyes a little bit more so she looks different from the rest. I just gave her some moles on her face and I do want to include a little bit of acne. I guess let's give her a happier expression because she is kind of like a party animal. Oh, by the way, she's a unicorn. For her body details, I did give her some hair on her arms and legs and I did want to give her some freckles up here. I think I'll give DJ this hair right here. It really really reminds me of the one in the show. It's just very spiky and very straight. I was just testing out all the different highlights and I feel like this one is the best. I guess they're not as prominent as they are in the cartoon, but this is really the best I can do. I do feel the need of giving her some sunglasses already. These are subject to change depending on the outfit, but for now we'll go with those. And I do need to give her some tattoos. Those are really cute. Or the top, I'm thinking something quite edgy like this right here. I really like this swatch. I was gonna go for the white one because of her body, but I feel like she would definitely wear this. I found these really cool shorts right here. I think it's a really cool look with the top. For the shoes, I do want to give her some sneakers. Maybe something with a pop of purple would be nice. I like that. This is not purple, but the shoelaces are and that's adorable. Let's give her this belt, which is obviously due doing nothing, painting her nails in the purple color. Lastly, of course, we've got to give her a pair of headphones. These are perfect. And that is it for DJ Pwn 3. She is so cute. She's my favorite so far. I love her. Next up, we're going to be working on Zakora. Zakora is very unique because she's not a pony or a unicorn or a pegasus or an alicorn. She's a zebra. I think it's so cool that they added this to the show. Apparently, Zakora is very wise, and very knowledgeable, but she's also a little bit mysterious because every time she talks, she rhymes. She is a herbalist who lives in the Everfree Forest. For her traits, I'll be giving her genius, self-assured, and green fiend. And I'll give her a nature aspiration. Let's just do the freelance botanist one. I'm gonna give Zakora this skin tone right here. And Zakora has blue eyes. Again, wow. They really love giving their character blue eyes. I just gave her some vitiligo and some stretch marks. Okay, I know it's not a mohawk, but it definitely works. Although I really love all these other hairs, they really don't remind me of Sakura as much as this one does. And obviously I can't really make the hair black and white, but I did add these accessories on it to add a pop of white in there. I love when people call it zebra instead of zebra. It is so cute. 
I really like this top for Zakora. I feel like it's very unique. We've got the white, we've got the zebra print, and I like that it's gray and not black. For the skirt, I'm gonna go with this one right here. I really like the slit. It just adds a little something. For the shoes, I'm wanting to give her some sandals. I'm really liking these right here. We can do her toenails in a gray color, and let's make her fingernails black. Zakora is wearing some humongous hoops, so I really want to give her these right here, and maybe we can change the jewelry on her hair to a gold as well, just so it matches. Let's go ahead and give her some tattoos. I quite like these because you can see them from every angle of her body. I also want to give her some bracelets. Those look quite cute. Just like with Derpy, I wanted to give her some graphic eyeliner. Maybe what we can do is also give her some sort of septum ring. That one, for example, is really cute. It has a little heart on it. That is it for our Zikora Sim. She was so fun to make and I really like how different she is from the other characters in the show. For our next pony, we're going to be switching it up a bit and doing a male character, Big Mac, aka Big Macintosh. He's actually not a pony, he's a stallion, which explains why he is so humongous. He's Applejack's older brother. He's very gentle, hardworking, and he doesn't really talk. He only says a yup or nope. We're going to give him the loyal trait, the loner trait, because he's so quiet, and the proper trait. For the aspiration, I want to give him him the country caretaker one since he's always helping out around the farm. For his skin color, I went with this kind of tan one since he's usually working outside. Now he is a redhead and he's got green eyes. Just like his little sister, he's got some freckles and it's really adorable. We can also bring those freckles down to his body. Let's give him a few stretch marks. I also want to give him some leg hair and some arm hair. So Big Mac has some long hair. I will be going with this one right here. I really like how it looks on him. For his top, I obviously want it to be red, but I really like this. It gives me kind of farm boy vibes. We can even change the color on the inside. I think going with the green would be a good option because his cutie mark is a green apple. For the pants, I think these are quite cute. I would give him the red, but I feel like at this point it's too much red. The brown looks great too though because it does go with the colors he has. Obviously we'll go for some boots. These look quite nice. That's it for our Big Mac. He's very simple but he just looks great. I really love how he turned out and I hope you do too. Last but not least we're gonna be working on Princess Celestia. Princess Celestia is the main ruler of Equestria. She's known for how kind and gentle she is. She's compassionate and wise and her subjects very much love her and believe it or not she's very down to earth even though everyone views her as a literal goddess. Let's do outgoing, good, and proper. For her aspiration, I want to give her friend of the world. I do want to give her some softer eyebrows, maybe something like this. And let's go ahead and give her her skin details. There we go, I just gave her some freckles and a little mole. I'm gonna give Princess Celestia this this hair right here. I don't have any others that come with multiple hair colors like this. This one looks pretty good though. For Princess Celestia, I really wanted to go with the skirt that comes in one of her hair colors. I really like this one with the pink. It's very flowy, very magical. I quite like this top right here. It goes very well with her hair. I want to make her look casual but whimsical at the same time. For her nails, let's go for a color we haven't used yet, like the blue. And for her shoes, maybe some flats. These are cute. Let's give her a necklace. I want something kind of simple like this. That's cute. This gold piece right here really reminds me of her. She's got a few gold things on her. I guess that means we should probably change the necklace to a gold one as well. That right there works. I love this eyeshadow for her. I think it's so perfect. This color is even better actually. It's got the green, the blue, and the purple. Bit of liner and some blush. Do you want to give her a little bag? 
bag. And that is it for our Princess Celestia. She is so whimsical and pretty and she looks magical. I hope you like her. I love her hair. And that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know which My Little Pony sim was your favorite. And if you haven't watched part one, feel free to do so after this video. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you later.